Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Nuclear Throne. This is gonna be a weird one. I'm gonna be away from home. Well, I'm gonna be away from my apartment to be in my family's home across the country and we'll be unable to play some Nuclear Throne dailies over the course of the week, but I still wanna have Nuclear Throne up. So I figured, why don't we take this opportunity to record some more Nuclear Throne so I can have it up. So there's not gonna be daily challenges in a, a few of these videos. The daily challenges will return. There's no risk of that. This is my, my go-to game right now for recording. This and Isaac occupy a lot of my my mental energy right now in a good way mental energy often has some negative connotations associated with it oh you're draining my mental energy right now but I'm loving nuclear throne and I'm hoping that uh, you know being able to build a backlog for it is gonna give me the opportunity to get even better at it you know instead of playing you know maybe an hour a day which is good an hour a day adds up dog don't be mad about an hour a day what is that's like the recommended amount of exercise that can turn you into a fit and healthy person an hour a day of nuclear throne surely has the opportunity to turn me into a fit and healthy nuclear throne player given you know some uh, some conscientious and conscious play machine gun crossbow first off sounds like an awesome weapon in and of itself secondly is a pretty good combination for us here I don't love playing his eyes I, I suck at understanding when we should be using the telepath ability kind of just use it as like a plutonium hunger Personally, but uh, blow that up so I don't get exploded by it in the process. Suck this stuff down. Uh, and we're doing okay on ammo here, so I'm feeling alright. Just wanted to, I had a feeling something like that could be happening there. Just do a little semi circular strafing, and that was super easy. And we'll come back in here. Yeah, anyway, I, don't, I, I feel like I've, I've explained my piece a little bit. I don't think we need to open the weapons chest. I'd like the rad. The weapons chest is going to open anyway, and we'll take our new mutation. Uh, and we will take plutonium hunger, I guess. <laughs> so that even when I'm not using Euphoria, I uh, can still get some good stuff out of it. Screwdriver, I think... Correct me if I'm wrong on screwdriver, but I do believe that screwdriver is uh, higher damage than other melee weapons, but a much narrower range. Pretty fast attack speed, but where, where you really lose it... Not that it's bad, I'm just bad with it. Where you really lose on it is with um, the the really, really narrow kind of area of effect in front of it. I can't believe this, but we actually are going to have some problems with, uh, with ammunition with our machine gun. If we're going to have problems with ammunition, I might as well be rolling with better weapons. Like a laser pistol, a crossbow. The other thing is, without being, uh, I don't want to say hampered, but without being stuck with the daily... There are more, I can't believe Laser Pistol didn't one-shot that mouse there. Um, there are more opportunities for me to kind of experiment with different weapon, you know, combinations. I don't need to worry so much about, uh, oh, if I lose this one, I don't get another chance till tomorrow. I can experiment with some stuff that I haven't really maybe taken advantage of thus far. And as a result, maybe learn some things that will help me out on the dailies once we get back to those. I mean, there still will be, I mean, last week I probably did all the dailies, is my assumption. This week, though, maybe not. We'll see. That's the thing I'm trying to get used to, you know, people, I streamed a little bit of Nuclear Throne on Twitch during the last Sunday subscriber stream because Twitch was having some issues with uh, sending out the messages that we would have needed them to send out in order to actually play the games we wanted to play. Not that I didn't want to play Nuclear Throne for that matter, but anyway, um, we, uh, or I was kind of like crowdsourcing some, some tips from chat and people were basically telling me, you worry, uh, yeah, I will take Shovel, you worry a little bit too much about ammo. The thing is, if you take weapons that have ammo problems, you get more ammo drops. Because you only get ammo drops when you're missing ammo. So the lower your or you get more ammo drops, the lower your ammo is, I think. Boiling veins could be really good here, but I am going to take impact risks because we have shovel. Could allow us to get some easy kills. Uh, let's try to sort this area out as quickly and non-dirty as possible. So we don't have to deal with the freaking IDPD, hopefully. Sneak through here. Pull the enemies a little closer to us. Assault Slugger is probably... Oh, we want the shovel. It's probably better than the crossbow, honestly. Assault Slugger fires three shells at once. So again, ammo-related concerns. No question about it. However, um, is also going to have a huge DPS output itself. I can't believe there's still birds left here. I love the shovel for just basically insane damage-dealing potential. I didn't realize there were still so many enemies left. Impact Risk saved me from having to deal with that guy, and we did level up again. Probably Rhino Skin here. I, I do love Strong Spirit when I can get it to work, and it's possible that I could have gotten it to work there. That's exactly what I was hoping for. 
<laughs> I can't believe it actually worked. I was like, I'm gonna hit that dude into his friend and murder him. All right, so we're gonna be we're gonna be low on shells here, but I gotta try to kill Big Dog like this. He doesn't do contact damage. Good. I thought that might explode in my face if I did it like that. Okay, Assault Slugger totally worked. We're safe. Get all this experience. That's just an assault rifle. Not that there's anything wrong with it. But I would prefer not to die. Ah, I think it was just a laser pistol in there. So no level up here. And now we're probably going to have to use the shit out of our assault pistol. Sorry, assault slugger. Because we really are, you know, like two-shotting the, uh, the spiders on the crystal caves is not going to work out that well for us. We're not going to be able to get the kind of... I'm just holding down I's special ability here. We're not going to be able to get the kind of, like, safety that we'd often expect to get here. Because these guys are, are too fast, basically. We're definitely going to hit level 6 here, though. Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm actually kind of happy with the way that went down. One more hit should do it here. And... We really could use, like, a back muscle pickup or something like that. The shovel's gonna be totally fine, or a scary face. That would, a scarier face, I guess, would also work. Um, we're going to be fine, probably, on the ice area. Oh my god, the contact damage is so huge! I had no idea. Well, the, you know what? At the very least, we've learned something there. I'm not sure if that's the first time I've ever actually encountered uh, the contact damage on those guys, but that was ridiculous. At least seven, might have even been more. Okay, let's just make sure we got this slugger, get the rads, blow you up, and we're good to go down to the next floor. I've had some okay melting runs. Not particularly uh, good with melting, but there's a chance, you know. I don't know what uh, trinkets really s ah, synergize beyond HP. We're gonna be eyes again, oh my god. Uh, I don't know what trinkets really synergize, or sorry, mutations really synergize beyond just HP, but people have told me Bloodlust Strong Spirit is really good. I'm assuming, though, you need Rhino Skin. No, 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 you wouldn't need Rhino Skin, because you would die, respawn with 1 HP, and then the next enemy you killed would probably bring you back. Actually, that, yeah, okay. I never really thought about it, I was just like, well, you probably need Rhino Skin for that, and now that I think about it, that is stupid. You probably don't actually need Rhino Skin for that. Alright, we're eyes again. I'm actually fairly comfortable with the eyes. I'm getting there, at least. And here, I think we can justify taking stronger telekinesis, mostly because there's kind of a dearth of choices. Not not really a really strong selection for us. What do we What do you use? Machine gun or uh, assault rifle? I don't think it matters. Two bullets gets the kill. So technically, if we can, you know, shoot them effectively with the machine gun, that probably saves us a little bit of ammo. But I have to imagine it's the kind of thing that probably really doesn't matter all that much. Oh my god. Terrible damage right there. Hoping for maybe a, uh, a double level here. And by double level, I don't mean like, you know, it's going to be twice as long. Rather, just, uh, you know, twice as many uh, rads. Or, it, like, we'll level up twice. Let's not make it any more complicated than it needs to be. Assault Rifle has a much tighter spread on its actual shots. So I think it's a little bit better when we've got this guy surrounded by so much cover. Really could use another uh, weapon type here. I understand that there is a value in having two uh, weapons of the same type, so you get more ammo drops of that type. Yeah, we'll take shovel instead of machine gun. Even though I just got killed by using the shovel earlier, but uh, I still think it's a good choice for us. We only leveled up once, and actually it was barely once at that, but we'll go strong spirit here. We're going to be a little bit behind the eight ball here. It happens. I'm kind of hoping that with the pressure off, I maybe have a little bit of a better uh, opportunity of getting at least like one or two good runs per video here. Truth be told, I guess... No, you know what? I was like, I'm not going to open weapons chests because we already have a good loadout, but I actually don't think we have a good loadout. I think Shovel is basically occupying the spot. Very st oh my god, even stupider. I thought that it wouldn't take that long to recharge it. Um, shovel is occupying the spot that oftentimes I'll have with bullet weapons, which is basically like this weapon is good on ammo. Shovel especially uses no ammo. And it's great because it does one shot uh, at least the rats down here. But we need a better damage weapon. Assault Rifle's not bad for damage. But it's also, you know, it's not going to be particularly impressive. This is not a good run right now. Largely, I didn't even see you down there at first. 
largely because of the fact that uh, our loadout sucks. But also, we must have missed some rads, because we are way behind the 8-ball here. Would expect to be level 4. We will... Okay, we'll try a Toxic Launcher. We will hit level 4 over the course of this floor, and there we go right there. But, you know, sometimes you can even hit level 5 at this point. I don't think Toxic Launcher is necessarily a good weapon, but I do think that uh, it'll be better for us in this situation. Probably go uh, Bloodlust here because we're going to need HP. We don't have Second Stomach or Rabbit's Paw yet. We do have Strong Spirit and we haven't used it, thankfully. Okay, be smart. Because we only get one shovel hit every few seconds. <laughs> oh, thumb. But we're still alive and amazingly have not used Strong Spirit somehow. Thank you for the med kit. That's good. Stay, stay smart. Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. Stay by Lisa Loeb. These are all things going through my head right now. I'm amazed. And I mean that sincerely. I'm amazed we did not have to use Strong Spirit there. I thought for sure we were going to have to. I don't think Toxic Launcher is particularly good. But I do think that... Um oh, that was very dumb of me. I do think that it is a better DPS weapon for us than Assault Rifle, probably. This is serious, like, Boiling Veins territory. Slugger. Probably beats Toxic Launcher, but, you know, we gotta get out of here first. Still have not used Strong Spirit, amazingly. Alright, you know what? Let's use Toxic Launcher for now. Get those shots in there. I'm assuming, like, oh, it'd be so terrible if Big Dog was immune to this. Thank you, Bloodlust. Give me this, please. Oh, we actually sucked Big Dog closer to us. No, I don't want... <laughs> I don't want super close Big Dog. Ah! Ah! He doesn't do contact damage. Laser pistol. Yo, fuck off. Fuck off. Bend the bullets. This is what stronger, you know, telekinesis is for. Please get away. Yo, toxic launcher apparently freaking sucks. But we lived somehow doing relatively well in the process. Oh my god, I had to swing to hit those, I think. Rabbit's paw, no doubt. Now we're in a really weird spot. Um, splinter pistol. Just run and hide in the corner and never return. Okay, so this is like full toxic launcher territory. We become a danger to ourselves. Assault Slugger. That's got to replace it, yeah. Okay. I'm amazed that we're, we're still trucking along here. We are... Are we going to make the same mistake that we made before? Which is to say, am I going to roll with the shovel far longer than I should? What else do we want? Do we really want Splinter Pistol? Maybe we should try it out. I mean, that's the whole point of this, right? could be good, but it uses bolts. What about laser pistol? I don't love it, but we have more ammo for it. I'm more used to it. It seemed like I was really low on bolts. And we know that we could get, uh, you know, laser brain with this to maybe make it a little bit better. Plus, we have a salt slugger as our DPS weapon. At least we made it here. One, two, three, four, five. Five... Oh, Jesus. Five energy to not even kill that big guy is real bad. Two shots per dog is not where I want to be. Oh, man. Yeah, this is not great. All right. But with um, with the way that we're rolling this, you know, we do have piercing shots with it. There is something to be said about that. And we can do it a little bit more long range than Assault Slugger, I guess. Low energy. Yeah, I, I buy it. Let's get some more of that back. We kind of have piercing shots with the slugger as well, though. You're not going to like that, I think. I mean, three shells is also pretty cost prohibitive. Unless we get something like back muscle, but we'll see. It, it kind of seems like it's working out. Definitely sneak in here and check these out. This could be huge. Energy sword or something? 
Plasma Rifle, Lightning Rifle, Energy Hammer. I love the Energy Hammer. Okay, we can roll with this now. Especially if we can get Laser Brain. This is a decent combination for dealing with the boss. And we don't have Laser Brain, but we have our third opportunity to scare your face. And that's awesome. I'll, I'll absolutely take advantage of that. You just bought yourself a one-way ticket to hell and back. Max energy, that's what I like to see. Still, you know, very much looking out for, for back muscle and laser brain to turn this into the run of my dreams. Oh, you lived, huh? But, uh, it could happen. Not, I can't believe we're not one-shotting uh, the big guys. It doesn't look like we're far off. That is, sticky launcher. Ah, hello, IDP. I'm not surprised. Ah! Oh, we've lost Strong Spirit. Okay, play cool. Play cool. We need to get back to full HP if this is going to work. Sledge? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Sledgehammer. Um, I don't think we want Sledgehammer. Don't ever try that shit at home. I guess we're not getting a crown, which might be for the best. And this is all... Um, Assault Slugger territory now. What is shooting me around here? Ah! I, I got too close to it, but I felt like I had to because there were bullets coming in from the other side. That sucked. Okay, robot. I gotta admit, I'm bad with robot. This will be some good practice. Ah, that was a really good start. <laughs> I was gonna say, there's gotta be more than two enemies on the first floor. Thank you, by the way. Lots of people sending me tweets and stuff saying they picked up Nuclear Throne. Finally, our favorite weapon shows up. Wrench. <laughs> Only half being sarcastic. Um, saying they picked up Nuclear Throne because of my videos. That's too kind. Yeah, we're, we're happy with what we got here. It's a great weapon. Or sorry, it's a great game. But I didn't make it, you know. I'm, I'm just taking the opportunity to play it. And I'm having a great time in the process. That's just a nice little side effect. But I am thankful that uh, people are like, Hey, I bought the game because you look like you sucked at it, you piece of shit. And now it, I realize that it's actually like pretty hard. So, you know, you're not as bad as you look. I appreciate that as well. And, you know, I do think this is a game that... It's, it's got a decent amount of attention, but I hate frame framing like playing games on YouTube is like it needs a bigger audience. Like I I don't think Nuclear Throne needs a bigger audience. I I just re fucking cycled the wrench. God damn it! Oh my Lanta. Um, that's I right clicked by accident while scratching my freaking face. Um, should have recycled the screwdriver. That's why I suck as a robot. But anyway. Um, I think you should play, you know, whatever you like, and I'm not gonna tell you if this is, you know, what you should play or should not play, because I don't know who you are. What I will say is that, I think this is a game that appeals to my a lot of my audience, I should say. Triple Machine Gun is so bad on ammo. I'm, I'm, I really hate our loadout right now. I am not pleased. <laughs> and, uh, um, the shotgun is, like, the slugger is so good because the shots stay in, like, a tight spread. The shotgun fucks around with it a little bit. At least we got back to max HP. Like, truth be told, as long as we stay at max HP and maybe we can pick up a couple more guns in the process down here. Or, like, a gun. We're not really in that. Oh my god, we got the wrench back! All is forgiven! Okay, that was... That was really bad. Turned not so bad. Although I did take damage at the end. Bloodlust for sure. Uh, and yeah, people sometimes ask me, like, would you recommend Nuclear Throne? Absolutely. I know that people have caveats about early access. This is one of the... The only thing that sucks about it is that your progress gets wiped. That was stupid of me. I should have just gone for the KO instantly, but... Um, you know, easy come, easy go when it comes to rads. Uh, the, the thing that sucks is that every week your progress gets wiped, but the only progress there really is is... like, the characters that you unlock. And it's pretty easy to unlock them again in one or two runs, depending on, you know, whether or not you're actively trying to do so, so... I can understand that being a little annoying, but it's it's not like an Isaac where you're like, oh, I have to completely, like, you know, get Maggie again or get Azazel again. It's, it's easier than that for sure. Alright, we are at level 4. This is roughly where I would like to be. Probably take Eagle Eyes because I have the shotgun. And I'm hoping that we won't have the shotgun forever. I'm also, we haven't taken Scarier Face right now. That was interesting. Uh, I'm hoping that I'll be able to replace the shotgun with something else soon. But Eagle Eye should make it so that the shotgun is kind of just like, I think, even a more powerful slugger. Bad damage. We got blow. Oh, what the? 
Was it a mimic? Or did I just get smacked by that guy? Or was this is gonna be like a full-on eyes run? I don't think so. Let's play as a different character a little bit here. Alright, plant. I do like plant. This might be our last run, but I gotta admit, I've been playing pretty poorly here, and I'm not necessarily pleased with myself. Maybe it's uh, not having the pressure of the daily is actually a negative thing for me. I always assume that it leads to me uh, choking, but it might actually lead to me uh, excelling. No music, which that should come back on the next level. Sometimes throwing glitches out a little bit like that. Use our shotgun for this guy just to speed up the process a little bit. No more shotguns, please. Sluggers instead. Got to get in here. There you go, just get him trapped. Actually, one, ooh, it was close. One shotgun blast might be enough to kill one of these nuclear rotatas. It's gotta be pretty firm though, I think. This is good. Yeah, just spam the shit out of it, see you in hell. I don't really want the screwdriver as much as I have a preference for melee weapons. Definitely rabbit's paw here. Um, as much as I like the melee weapons, uh, can't really justify it, I think. Get you trapped. Big Bandit, if you would show up here, that would be lovely for me. I don't know the like methodology behind where Big Bandit shows up. Assault Rifle definitely beats Revolver. Oh, this is not where you want to be. What do you do here? <laughs> I do like the shovel. I think we can replace a shotgun with shovel. Even though the, shock, the shovel and... Um, Assault Rifle kind of occupy the same niche for me. Oh my god, I took like five hits in there. And probably should have taken more. That's alright, we'll heal close to full, I'm sure. By getting the kill here. Yeah, should at least. There we go, full HP. We got the shovel for the next floor, probably Bloodlust. Is what we're gonna want to roll with. And we got a good selection of core trinkets, we're definitely gonna hit level four on this floor. So, most important thing, remember, the charge up time, or the reload time on the shovel is fucking gross. It takes forever. However, it does so much damage that it's hard to be too salty about it. Does as much damage as probably like five assault rifle shots, I think, if you saw right there. Max HP, thank you Bloodlust, 52 bullets. We will keep opening stuff. Um, I don't want machine gun, but I would like, it's all right. I would like a new DPS weapon. Grenade launcher, crossbow, like a long range DPS weapon would be amazing. Level four, okay. I would like to at least, uh, you know, fight little bandit over the course of today's video. I would consider it, oh Jesus, I would consider it a negative if we didn't. I'd consider it like a series of pretty bad runs. Back muscle. We got super core mutations right now. I'm liking it. Okay. Play it smart here. Trying to do some funky stuff with the shovel. That won't be necessary. This is why we have a long range weapon. So we can do shit like this. I'll admit, I am. I really enjoy smacking the shit out of the crows. And having them die in one hit, because otherwise they can be so annoying. Makes my life easy there. Continue to smash these guys through the wall. I hope that's working as intended, because if that is a bug that is going to be fixed, I'm going to be in trouble. Well, we definitely don't want another uh, weapon that is a bullet weapon, but is worse than the assault rifle. Ah, yeah, I shouldn't have allowed that to happen. That's just a no-brainer. As in, I had no brain when it happened. I don't think there's rads up there. Ah, uh, we missed those ones, I think. Give him a little one-two punch, a little right-click, left-click. Does the trick. Down to the next floor and didn't even get caught in that car explosion. We got 365 bullets right here. That's a bullet per day, which is definitely uh, beyond the capacity that I've used bullets in real life. That was very stupid. I had like a instinctual reaction there and I think this is our time to spam actually hopefully we'll be able to pick up the uh, the rads in here but yeah mostly just wanted to make sure we could take out the enemies before they could get to us don't even try that shit on me we're back to full HP again not that we were super low to begin with I think sledgehammer sledgehammer I think beats shovel does have a longer ch charge time I'm assuming 
That's going to be spam country down there again. We really want to ah, kill them before they did exactly what they did. Which was get the IDPD involved. That's got to be the end of it, right? Close, close, close. All right, we missed out on our crown again, which, again, might be a good thing. Um, probably strong spirit here because we do have bloodlust to take advantage of it. And, you know, truth be told, the assault rifle is actually a pretty good weapon for us to be rolling with. Blow that up. Uh, it's a pretty good weapon for us to be rolling with to kill uh, Big Bandit. We can get away. Or, sorry, uh, Junkyard Dog. We can get away with it. Let's make sure we're not getting too caught up in bullet hell down here. We got uh, our Big Dog, not Junkyard Dog. Nick's rubbing off on me a little too hard. Yeah, this should be an easy way for us to get a kill. We got it trapped. We can always just sledgehammer the bullets away. It's like Vince said, man, you're slapping your troubles away. Not very good shooting on my part there, but we're still doing fine. That, uh, that would wear off pretty soon, so I think we got lucky that we got the KO as quickly as we did. New weapon, though, man. I know there's a weapons case down here. Double shotgun. We'll try it. The assault rifle was great to us right there, but uh, I think we got to go with something a little stronger in the future. Sledgehammer does one-shot these guys. It's actually, it doesn't seem like it has that much longer of a reload time than the shovel, honestly. Maybe this shovel's just like, uh, you know, early game sledgehammer. I wanna be your early game sledgehammer. Peter Gabriel, talk to me, buddy. If you're selling, I'm buying. Crossbow. I don't know. Double shotgun. Do we have eagle eye? That was last run, right? Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, this is getting a little ridiculous. We made it. <laughs> a little scary in there. Um, I think double shotgun probably beats crossbow. I don't have much to support my claim, admittedly. Splinter gun, not really interested. That might be the end of this one. Yeah, it is, okay. We did get another mutation as well. And this time, we're gonna take Rhino Skin. Second stomach is beautiful. Um, but I'm gonna take Rhino Skin. I do still value it more most of the time. And I think, how did you get through there? Let's be honest, that's bullshit and you know it. We still have Strong Spirit active, so I'm not in full on panic mode yet. But I think that we're in a good position. I think this is a good loadout for this section of the game. Second stomach would have been very nice there. Oh, come on. We don't have strong spirit anymore, so be careful. Might be double shotgun territory now. And we might want to pick up... Uh, if we're going to roll double shotgun, we might want to pick up eagle eye. Terrible damage. Not the best run I've ever had a nuclear throne, but thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. Hope you're not too perturbed that I'm not going to be missing some dailies and putting these up instead. But, uh, you know, necessity is the mother of uh, uploading. As always, thanks for watching. And uh, if you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, I'll see you next time.